Warning, to avoid fire, shock, or death, turn off power with the circuit breaker or fuse and test that the power is off before wiring. First, create a small hole in the ceiling for the wire to go through. Then install the provided surface mount adapter with two screws. Push the wires through the ceiling hole and then wire to the power pack. For wiring to the power pack, please refer to the installation instructions included with the product or available from download at leviton.com. First create a 2-inch hole in the ceiling as shown, then push the wires through the ceiling hole and wire to the power pack. Push the sensor into the ceiling until it snaps into the ceiling. For wiring to the power pack, please refer to the installation instructions included with the product or available for download at leviton.com. We will show you how to perform manual calibration of the photocell for closed loop operation. The solid yellow light means that the photocell is in off mode. First, turn the photocell knob clockwise to the 1x position, and then counterclockwise to the set position. This will initialize manual calibration. Then turn the knob clockwise to the 1x position. Push the sensor into the adapter and walk away from the sensor. The LED light will be solid red for two to three minutes, after which the sensor will set a target light level. You can adjust the light level by moving the knob after that. We will show you how to perform auto calibration of the photocell for a closed loop operation. The solid yellow light means that the photocell is in off mode. First turn the photocell knob clockwise to the auto position. Then push the sensor into the adapter and walk away from the sensor. The LED light will be solid green for 24 hours, after which the sensor will automatically set a target light level for daylight harvesting. You can adjust the light level by moving the knob after that. More information on photocells can be found at the Leviton.com website. Go to products and then photocells.